Hi guys, day 30, we officially hit the one month milestone on this journey. Congratulations to all of us. Today's plan was simple, inspect the welder joint for stress and install solar charging station. Since we are going electric, I decided to arrive electric, still not a Tesla fan though. So if you got a BYD seal and want to swap keys, hit me up. When I got to the workshop, Samuel had already flipped the keke over. The bolt on the joint had loosened and he had added extra bolt, not an ideal fix. Now you understand why. With all that vibration, we need proper locking bolts. Apart from that, everything else held up just fine. Right in the middle of things, Fego rolled in with his under CRV for diagnostics. And that stole a bit of my attention. I had to call in Sunday to help double check the bolts. Guys, meet Sunday, head of the technical team at my car workshop. Yes, I also run a workshop. We have been working together for 11 years and when he talks suspension, I trust him with my eyes closed. He inspected everything and said, it's good, but it can be better. I showed him my proposed fix and he agreed. Even gave the exact measurements. I was 5 cm off. As always, Sunday was right. We wrapped that up, mounted 4 additional solar panels, bringing the total to 8 panels. That gives us roughly 4000 watts of power harvest per hour. Then I connected the custom made controller. Everything worked beautifully until I heard a spark, then saw smoke. Reverse polarity error, relay bonds. I yanked it out, dashed to area 1, got a replacement and fixed it in another 30 minutes. While I was gone, Samuel installed the charging port on the side just as I had asked him. Meanwhile, Moses took the KK out for aggressive testing and of course, it stopped. I instantly knew BMS failure. I've been expecting this because I plan to tweak it anyway. We swapped the BMS and the same came back to life. I have a family fix coming. Good news, the charge controller is hooked up and everything looks good. We didn't have enough sound for proper test, but the real excitement is the built-in remote monitoring interface. This opened up so many new possibilities for testing and data analysis. All in all, today was solid. Now the real form begins. Thank you to everyone online and on my team. Your comments and advice keeps helping. Dugo is healing well, and the one whose name shall not be mentioned still hasn't apologized. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.